What up, people? What up, Africa? What up, worldwide? This is brought to you by one of the best YouTube channels, Silvanus HD. Silvanus HD talks about celebrities, then they are always up to date. Endeavor to subscribe to Silvanus HD for your clarity, quality, and HD videos as well. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to Silvanus HD. If this is your first time here, kindly click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon for notifications so that as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified. So I'll keep you updated on everything that is going on in the Nigeria entertainment industry. Don't forget to connect with me on Instagram with that master blessed. I really, really appreciate that. I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. So please go follow me over there. One of you guys sent me a live video of Kemi Onolo. You're talking about Hush Puppy's case. So I decided to watch the video and try to summarize everything she's talking about. She said Hush Puppy is not in dubai anymore that he has been transferred to the united states since like eight days ago every seven days ago and she knows where he is but later in the video she denied saying um she does not know where he is because she does not know the facility that he is after saying um she knows the facility that he's at she said hush puppy worked with russian hackers to steal the sum of a hundred million dollars from the united states government and they were supposed to share the money 65 35 that means 35% for Hush Puppy and 65% for the Russians. But after they did the transaction, Hush Puppy carried the whole money and ran away. And that the Russians leaked the information to the Americans. And that he's been hidden somewhere in America. And that the Russians wanted to kill him at Dubai before the Americans came in. But if you think about what she said, if the Russians wanted to kill him, why would the Russians tell Americans? So it does not make sense. Everything, everything she was saying, she was just contradicting herself in the video. And personally to me, I don't believe anything she said in the video. But time will tell if she's telling the truth or not. The video was 30 minutes long, so I cut it and like left the important parts for you guys so the video is like about 30 minutes long for those of you guys who want to hear everything she talked about i'll leave the video clip for you guys to watch that's the summarized video clip watch the video and let me know what you think about it in the comment section i'll see you later for another video take care stay safe i love you and peace right now we have so many news stories going on every friday i'm on sahara reporters between six and nine o'clock when Hush Puppy was arrested i broke the story okay and just love was saying she broke the story she broke the story of the police scribes parked in front of his house. You need to know Romani Abbas, okay? The Hush Puppy story is not about me. It's not about, um, she didn't give Kemi lawyer money, okay? There are a lot of people that didn't give me money for my medicals, okay? I even played satire on some of them. Tokumbo Abodere, I was kneeling down begging her, oh, give me money. People don't know what sarcasm and satire is. Some people actually thought that was a real video. No, it wasn't. Okay. When Hush Puppy wanted to leave Nigeria, okay, there are rumors out there that he laundered money for politicians, he laundered, he got some huge money, blah, blah. Well, those are allegations, okay? There are people who said he carried money for Dino, he carried money for Bukola Saraki, he's from Kwara, he's a nobody, he did this, he did that. I can't confirm or deny that. I have no proof, okay? So hearsay is so much. All I know is that before Hush Puppy left Nigeria, he went to the U.S. Embassy to get a visa. They didn't give him. It's what happened on that day at the embassy that made the news. He scattered the place. Do you know about this? Hush Puppy scattered the embassy, the United States Embassy. Today, he's in U.S. custody. Okay? If you like, go sit down there and say he's still in Dubai. That doesn't concern me. I'm in my bedroom. Okay? It doesn't concern me. It's in U.S. custody. This operation is a very covert operation. Okay, the Russians are involved. Are you listening to me? The Russians are involved. Some of you are saying I'm wearing this Toronto police hat. The Russians are very synonymous with hacking computers. Okay, they're very good hackers. They have hacked the U.S. electoral system and also the election results when Donald Trump was elected. We all know about that. They can hack into just about every parastatal, that big word you guys use in Nigeria, every ministry in America, they've tried. They are better than Anonymous, okay? Nobody even knows who Anonymous is, okay? You might want to wait till the television people in the MSN, mainstream media, tell you about the latest food hush puppy. They're not. The politicians have bought them, okay? You're not going to get all that stuff on Nigerian television. Anything that'll make Nigeria look bad, they're not going to broadcast it on TVC, channels, AIT, or anywhere. Okay, this is the only place you're going to get it. Okay, we'll continue. Now, I was talking about the Russians. Okay, the Russian hackers are very good. They've hacked the computers in the U.S. electoral system and many, many times. They've hacked different places. Now, with that being said, the whole plan was to hack the money the United States Department of Health and Human Services 
which is like the Ministry of Health, to have the money allocated to certain states. But what is going on is that that money was $100 million. They allocated it for that, you know, use. When the Russians, and I believe Social Security, when the Russians hacked into it, the plan was 35% will be hush puppy. 65 will be for the Russians. Only God knows how long Hush Puppy has been doing this. But according to the EFCC, they said it's Nigeria's most wanted hacker. If he was the most wanted hacker, why haven't they arrested him? All this time. Okay, they knew he loaned money for someone allegedly to politicians. Not the politicians. I'm just not going to name them because he has not been proven. At the end of the day, the hackers were supposed to get 65% of the money hacked. And Hush Puppy was supposed to get 35%. So his is 35 million, this is 65 million. Unfortunately, Hush Puppy, who I asked to give me money for my medicals, at the time I was soliciting money then, who said I should apologize to Linda KG before he can give me money. And then I apologized and him and Linda was laughing about me. So he scammed me. I gave an apology that Linda didn't deserve. Linda messed me up. He messed, messed business up. At the end of the day, he showed me he was a scammer. People are saying, what if, what if what? He didn't give me. This is what happened. These guys in Russia are the men of the underworld. They're very serious. They're very serious guys. They're very crazy guys. Okay, there's a lot of threats and there's a lot of killer real mafia, the Russian mafia. If they're going to get $65 million and Hushrup is going to keep $35 million, they successfully got the money out. The problem is that Hush Puppy didn't give them the cut, allegedly. I have sources in the FBI and sources in the Interpol. You wonder where I get my sources from. You wonder where I get my information from, but you refuse to think I'm a trained investigative journalist. I hear people tell me all this, and how do you get all your information? I'm a trained investigative journalist. I have people in the EFCC. I have people in the Nigerian police force. I have people in the Adelike family. I have people everywhere if I want to know what's going on. And I have people in the Interpol and people in the FBI. FBI I've been working with a long time ago before I came home. So don't come saying, oh, she's, she's saying the FBI, the FBI, you know, let me just get rid of this person that's calling me a liar. This is what I'm talking about. I don't need these distractions. Okay, I'm an investigative journalist. I have to know people in there. I tweeted that Hush Up is in a $35 million, you know, dollar COVID scam. What did the EFCC tweet? The EFCC tweeted the same thing, $35 million. So where is Hush Puppy? You guys say he's in Dubai. Doing what? If the Dubai authorities tell you that they're interviewing him, they're lying to you. Hush Puppy is in U.S. custody. Today marks the seventh day in U.S. custody. It was transferred by private jet in a covert operation. So face your own problems, okay? He has to answer charges in the U.S. They have to very, they have to be very, very careful moving him around before the Russians drown the plane. Okay, this is not stuff you knew, but I'm telling you. Woodbury with him. Woodbury, Woodbury bought a Lamborghini and a Range Rover on the same day. One for him, the Range Rover for his mom. I have the video. Oh, sorry. Is it a, no, a Rolls Royce and a Range Rover. You already have the Lamborghini. Um, the one was for his mom, the Range Rover, and the Lamborghini, excuse me, and the Rolls Royce was for him. I have a video of the Rolls Royce. I'm sure you've probably seen it. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody was asking me here just now if I know, if I know if Kashi Godson was arrested. Is it true? Of course, didn't I tell you on Saturday that they're going to make more arrests? Kashi was arrested, okay? Where they're telling everybody, what they're telling everybody is not really what they need to tell you. It's a very important everything. The Russians are listening. At the end of the day, um, Sean the Escape, I heard, was released. I don't know how far that, tr that is true. Sean the Escaper is literally Hush Puppy's houseboy, okay? 
So if they've released Sean, and Sean is saying all this bullshit to people in Dubai, they don't know what they're talking about. Arshpap is not there anymore. He's been gone. Okay? <clears throat> now, okay, I don't know why Sean is out, if he's out, or why they let him out, but the stuff is telling them, telling people, is not always true. He has to be careful for his own safety as well. Okay? Woodbury is with Hush Puppy. The 35 million, they tracked it to them. The 65 million on top of it, he did not hand it over to the Russians easily. So, from what I'm hearing from the FBI source, my FBI source and a golf reporter. Okay, when I say a golf reporter, it means the newspapers in Dubai. Okay, what I'm hearing is that the Russians themselves got very mad and told the Americans because Hushwapi scammed them like he scammed me. I apologize to Linda, I'll give you money, didn't give them money. Okay, we're gonna hack computers and take 100 million. When you get it, give us 65, keep 35. He kept the 35, the 65, nobody knows where it went, but it didn't go to the Russians. So the Russians got upset and got in touch with the Americans. Hushwapi Woodbury, what did you do with the 65 million? That's why they were arrested. Okay? So get this into your brain. Ashraf is not in Dubai. He's in U.S. custody. I can tell you the city. And I can tell you which facility they're holding him. Because where they're holding him, it's all heavily secured. Very, Ashraf is under heavy security because if the Russians attack, I'm telling you, they can bomb, they can kill him. They don't want him killed. Okay, the reality is the Russians don't need Hushpapi. That's what I want to say. Yeah, they need him because they took their money. They took the money they stole together. Okay. Um, I don't think Hushpapi is going to get out of this. He's going to go through a lengthy trial. And while that lengthy trial is going on, he's eating beans. They don't eat beans in America. They eat real good food in the prisons. But he has no freedom anymore. He really doesn't. His family knew he was scamming people. His friends knew he was scamming people. Well, they took him. Certainly no more Gucci lifestyle, that's for sure. Okay, bottom line, yeah, Meiji Obokufuro, he colluded with the Russians. That's exactly what it is, to steal the cash. They were the hackers. Yeah, so they can kill Hushwapi. Yeah, you're right about that. They can kill him. The Russians can kill him. The Americans can kill him. I don't know. But he's in a mess right now. He's in a really big mess, and I hope he has lawyers. Okay, because once you're arrested, if you have a day in court, at least, if you have a day in court, no days in court have been announced by the Dubai authorities. I'm telling you, it's on Interpol. Some of you are still sitting down saying it's Dubai, it's Dubai. It is, Interpol does all the international arrests, and they'll hand you over to whatever country you need to go to. They're not going to have a hand over a hush puppy to Nigeria. Remember Obi Okiki? Obi was on his way to the airport. August 6th, 2019, coming home. And they caught him right at the airport. Because if he had gotten on the plane, remember what the FBI said? We would not have been able to get him out of Nigeria. You know what I mean? Now, Obi has confessed to $11 million fraud and all that stuff. Okay. Um, I don't know about Adi herself. I'm not interested. Um, somebody said, can I help Ray? How would I help somebody that scammed me, please? Um, can Nigeria ask for his custody? Nigeria can ask for custody of somebody that's not Nigerian, okay? Ray Hushpapi is not a Nigerian citizen. He renounced the citizen and he got a UAE passport. He's the only Nigerian that carried the UAE passport and we know how he got it, okay? He got it from the people, paid a lot of money for it and renounced his Nigerian custody. So Nigerian um, citizenship, so there's no such thing. How many years you find him guilty? At least 30 years. That's U.S. for you. Okay, he didn't just steal people's money. Okay, there's a lot of Yahoo boys that they catch in the U.S. Love scams, VEC, everything. Seven to ten years. But he stole U.S. government money. Meant for COVID. Money meant for people that were standing in line in front of the New York hospital. While Trump was sending a warship to go to New York, U.S.S. Comfort, the money that was supposed to be for those test kits and ventilators, for those people that died, you now hack into this system and you stole it, allegedly. All right? Um, Hush Puppy is in the U.S. He's been in the U.S. for now, about a week. All right? Um, no plea bargains right now. They might do one with him. 
Okay, the only plea bargain is that he scammed the Russians of $65 million. So they snitched on him. Where in the U.S., I can't tell you. You know, it's, it's, it's very, you know, it can get killed if I tell you. The, Rus- the Russians report him. Yes, of course. They snitched on him when he refused to give them their cut. What prison is he locked up? I don't even know if he's in a prison. He's just in their custody. Okay. I don't think he's in a prison. He's just in their custody. Very, very tight security around Hushbuffy. Hushbuffy was involved with the Russian underworld, you know? Very, very bad. Now, Hush Puppy was involved with men of the underworld in the Russian mafia. Very dangerous people that kill you at one instant. Um, they were about to kill him when the Dubai authorities took him with the Interpol and handed him to U.S. authorities. He was flown very fast via private jet to the U.S. Reportedly, that's the information that reached me by very good sources in the security agencies and a golf reporter in Dubai, Abu Dhabi. The bottom line is he'll have to face a trial. Once they're ready with him, notify his family and everything, they'll let you know. He's under very, very hard, very, very tight security right now because the guys, the mafia guys, he scammed them. And if Hush Puppy testifies against them, they can kill him. They can kill him as easy as from where he slept last night to go to a US courthouse. They can shoot him dead because he will testify against them. They're the ones that snitched him in. Okay? So that's really all I have to say. I don't know when he will be set free, if he'll ever be set free.